don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the Big K Cop360 here, and look. It's the 15th of February 2016, yet we still do not have an R9 Fury X2 from AMD. Now, of course, look guys, Arctic Islands and Pascal are launching in the next couple of months. Um, within, um, oh, I don't know, the middle of the year, I'll say. Between the middle of the year and the end of the year. And AMD still hasn't released this dual, uh, this, I'm going to say dual GPU, because everyone seems to hate it when I say dual. I say dual because that's how we say it in Australia. That's how we say it in England. We say it like, you know, like a, like a, uh, fuck, what's the thing? Like a diamond jewel, I guess. That's how we pronounce D-U-A-L. You know, I'm just going to say it anyway. Fuck it. I'm sick of people. I'm just going to say it. Because they still haven't released this dual GPU yet and look they're running out of time man by the time look at this rate by the time they release the Fury X2 it's going to be useless because we're going to be seeing like a GTX 1080 Ti or whatever not a Ti we're seeing the GTX 1080 or we'll be seeing you know the R9 490X or whatever and that card is likely going to be very close to the performance of the Fury X2 because both AMD and NVIDIA have been quoting some massive performance increases on these new architectures. And of course, what would you expect? I mean, we're moving towards a smaller fabrication process. We've got completely new architectures. It's obviously going to be seeing, or well, we will obviously be seeing massive improvements. Now, let's let's not get away from ourselves here. The 295X2, for example, to this day, is still the best graphics card in the world now of course when i say graphics card i mean single pcb single card it's not a single gpu it's still a dual gpu but it's still the single best graphics card on its own it outperforms everything and you know it's two overclock 290x's what would you expect amd did a great job on that gpu man and if they can do the same with the fury x2 and release it relatively soon hopefully within a month so hopefully by this time march then they'll make some pretty decent sales out of it. And let's be honest, guys, um, as soon as some new cards come out, they're going to drop the price. Like, hell, man. It's happened every single time. The 7990 launched at like $1,000 or maybe more. And then not long, not too long after, I remember going down to like $699 and like $599, you know, whatever was good. And then same thing with the 295X2. The card's pretty cheap right now. I mean, for what you get, it's relatively cheap. Now, of course, you can still get two 290Xs and it's cheaper. It's just the way um, the world goes. You still got the water cooler with it, so that adds a premium and, all, and whatnot. Look, all of those things don't even matter now because the card was released so long ago that those, they're not even taken into account anymore. It's just there to be priced. It's there to be sold. AMD just wants to get rid of 295X2s. But anyway, the reason I'm talking about the Fury X2 today is because AMD has been teasing it a lot. Um, recently, they've been uploading some pictures of like two Fury or two Fiji GPUs. Hashtag two is better than one. This is vintage AMD. This is exactly what they did with the T95X2. And when they did do that, when they did announce or release those photos, the T95X2 launched relatively soon after that. So hopefully this is good. Hopefully it means we're seeing a Fury X2 soon and hopefully we'll be seeing a very, very high performing card that probably didn't make that much sense, but a well performing card that demolishes the competition and is just gonna replace the 295X2 as the fastest graphics card in the world because Nvidia doesn't seem to want to release dual GPUs anymore. Yes, I'm saying dual. I, I just know people are gonna be pissed off by it, but it's just how we say it. But Nvidia just doesn't like releasing them anymore. And yeah, so look, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and the big K will see you later.